In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create amazing 3D NFT animations to spice up your next project and help you create your next invisible friends. Hi, my name is Alex and I always love when there is an extra bit of work attached to something. Whether it's putting in those extra 10% that no one really sees, but you feel it's there, or taking something people know, like classic NFTs, and giving them just a little twist by animating them. Of course, this doesn't make your NFTs more likely to sell, you still need a great marketing plan for that, but at least it gives the people who buy that NFT a nice little add-on and that's always appreciated. But you know what I always appreciate? If you hit that like button on this video for the YouTube algorithm to help me and my channel out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so of course you should always create your own 3D models and characters to have something unique and you don't violate any copyrights. But for the sake of this tutorial and for you to follow along, I'll show you a great place where you can find some nice 3D models that you can download for free and use to see how everything works. So let's start by getting a 3D character. For that, I like to use a website called CG Trader. It has a ton of free models to download and to use. Just make an account on a website, log in, and you're ready to download. On this website, you see a lot of different file types. I'd suggest looking for an OBJ file since it works the best for step two. When you found a character you like, just download it and unzip the file. Then we jump over to a website called Mixmo.com. This is where we can upload our character and animate it using those presets. If you animate something in Blender, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or anywhere else, it can take you hours, days, months to get something usable. Here you just connect the dots and the body parts at once and the website does everything for you. Take your time when you connect the dots and it starts rigging. This might take a bit of time, but when it's done, you can try different animations from the section over here. If you're happy with an animation, just click on download. Here, you can pretty much leave everything as it is. For the next step, you need a program called Blender. You don't have to be scared. We don't do any heavy lifting in there. We just do some basic stuff to render our animation on a background so that we can later turn it into a GIF file and then put it on the blockchain. For this, just go on the Blender website, click on download Blender, download the program, install it on your computer and open it up. Once you open it up, click on general and you'll see this box. This is just the default way it opens up. You just click on the box, press delete on your keyboard and well, you delete the box. Now go to file, import and FBX. Since this is the file type your current animation is stored, once it's imported, this might take a while, just zoom in and right down here, you see our little floating robot. If your animation has those weird plates, just click on them and press delete to delete them one by one. And now, you just have your little robot floating in space. If you click the play button down here or the space bar on your keyboard, you can watch the animation. Probably your animation will stop at one point like mine did right here. Then you just have to find the last movement it did. Look at the number it shows you. On the right side, you see a little stopwatch that says start and end. Next to the stop or end, just type in the number you see. And now you get a smooth, endless movement. Now let's put in a background and a floor. For that, just go on add, mesh, plane. To get this big gray area, underneath our character. Do the same thing again, go on add, mesh, plane, and you get another one. We look on the right side where we have all the different possibilities and ways to move our plane. Start by putting a 90 degree angle in the rotation and you see the wall standing up. If you now go up to position, you can play with the Y and Z axis to play with your plane. Once you're happy, you could of course change the color and material of those walls, but this would take too long. So I'll just show you how you put basic lighting in a camera in so you can see and render your animation. For a light, go on add, light, and I like spot, so I just take spot, and then you'll see this spot appearing in the floor. So go over to position, and again, play with the Y and the Z. The next step would be to add a camera, and you probably already have a camera in your screen because it appears as a default. So why not just take the one we already have? Since my character is very small, I have to zoom out a little bit, and there you can see I have my camera. Then with your mouse, just click on the camera to select it. To move it, just press the one with the arrows up here. So now you can move the camera as you like. Once you think you're kind of okay with the camera, you can then press on this one to rotate the camera in any way, shape or form. To check if you like it or not, you can always go here and go on render image to see the rendered image and how it looks later. This will be your current view. This is what the camera sees right now. A little bit off center, but that's fine for now. So after you're happy, it's time to export your masterpiece. So just go over to that printer looking thing over here and click it and then just leave this everything as it is. Over here, we open up a selection. I click on accept, that's fine. Over here, let's go on file format. For here, we select FFmpeg video, since it's a video, and then click on encoding here. For container, use MPEG4, which is the easiest and most common file format. Video codec, leave it with H.264, and then we choose quality. I always go for high quality, but you can use any quality you like, and it's NFTs, so come on. Who cares about quality, right? <laughs> so after you're happy here, just go on up here to render, render animation. This might take a while, so just sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, 
subscribe to the channel, drink your coffee. Still not done. This is our animation. All right, close out of this. And that was it with Blender. And it didn't even hurt. <laughs> Last step before selling your animated NFTs for 3 million ETH is a website called Video to GIF Converter. I'm sure there are many services out there that do exactly the same, but I just use the one from Adobe since I use all of their other programs already. So I'll stick with Adobe. Oh, by the way, all the links of everything I mentioned are down in the description below, of course. On here, you maybe also have to register or open up an account, but that just takes a couple of minutes and you're good to go. Now, all you do is you put your video in here and you let it render an animation. And this is what it sees, this is what it does, and this is our animation and it will loop forever. Go on, big and download and you're good to go. And this is our little file, our little robot floating in midair. <laughs> now you can take exactly this and upload it to any marketplace you want. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sell your NFT on OpenSea, just click on this video up here. And if you want to learn how to generate insane art with an artificial intelligence, just click on here. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the chance to win one Ethereum as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. And if we hit it already, I'll be giving away five ETH to five lucky winners as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex. Stay smart, stay safe, and I'll see you next Wednesday.